Another week, another round of Preds. After the chaos of last week, it left me with a nearly negative record. It's almost impossible to predict this in this meta. In an APEC where it's already chaos? Yikes. I'll still try my best though. Let's just hop right into it with our first match of the week, the Gangzo Charge taking on the Shanghai Dragons. Charge are rocking a near fully rebuilt roster. Can they topple the Dragons after their mesh showing in the mid-season madness? I want to say no. I can see it happening, and though the baldy part of me wants to predict it, I really doubt it'll happen. I foresee Charge making it close though. I think Dragons will be nerfed by this meta. Ward will likely be the one to play as Chunker Queen plays more into his playstyle, but the team has undeniably looked way worse with Void as the starter. Who are you in left as a DPS line is very good, even if I do think Who Are You is overrated, and I trust Izayaki more than most to pick up the brig, but ultimately I'm worried about team cohesion without fate. I mean, I think it's charged. If you take away all the bad players, they still have the same coaching staff that's plagued this team with issues for the last two years. They play overly passive, and while I do think they'll perform well in this meta, better than usual at least, they're still the charge. I think Shanghai take it 3-2. Shanghai are caught off guard, and Gangzo look better than normal, but Shanghai don't let this chance slip away from them. Next up, we have the Soul Dynasty taking on the Hangzhou Spark. This was a 3 of us off in favor of the Spark last time. Could Soul take it this time? I want to say no. The current meta, in my opinion, lends itself well to this Nazaria Sigma composition playstyle, and that is probably Spark's best comp. While I do expect Soul to perform well, I think the Spark are generally better at the close rush style comps than Soul, and I also trust Irony to pick up the Brig over Creative as well. Irony isn't top tier by any means, but Creative has had a rough off of the Ana. Super Rich is hot take, and better as good as Vindame on the main support heroes. I'll give it to Spark 3-1 to here, but this is a toss up for sure. Next up we have the New York Excelsior going up against the Vancouver Titans. Both their teams hungry for any wins they can get, while on an uptick in this meta. I'll go with the NYXL here though. The Excelsior have performed better against better teams, but the real differences maker here the real difference maker here is Yaki. We've seen how big a difference maker a Genji diff is, and Yaki is genuinely a top five Genji in this meta. King is good, but I don't think he can really stand up to Yaki if he was getting diffed by all of though. However, I will say that New York is overrated, I feel. People placing them top five or even top three are jumping the gun. I feel their win against Houston was a bit of a fluke. I want to give it to New York in five maps though. I trust them to clutch up when it matters more than the Titans. Next up, we have the San Francisco Shock taking on the Boston Uprising. Cole Luch had to take on Mag twice in two weeks. It ain't easy. I like Boston to look improved, but not enough that they can take on the Shock. The Shock look more coordinated, especially if they try to slot Mag in last minute. Have better DPS and are way more aggressive, which is key in this meta. I give it to Shock in 3-0. If Valentine can go God Mode, I can see it being close, but come on, it's fucking proper. There's nothing he can do. Next up, we have the Toronto Define taking on the Dallas Fuel. This has a Giga Banger potential. I'm really liking the way the Definer are looking right now. Twilight is popping off the brig. The Heat is loose. Hanfa is looking solid, but honestly, I don't tar- trust Toronto too much. I don't see. I didn't see anything last week that especially makes me believe in them as a top tier team. They almost lost to the Titans and beat a Rain that is struggling insanely hard. I also think Aldo isn't like that good. He's solid, but against Dohan Sparkle, I don't think he can really do anything. I give it to Dallas 3-1. to one. Toronto c- could make it close and even squeak out a win if they play well enough, but I don't see it happening. Next up, we have the Seoul Dynasty taking on the Chengdu Hunters. I'll be real, I'm not super excited for the Hunters in this meta. And they're a team that rely on chaos primarily, and so this rush style meta being hard meta is a pretty big diff for them. We've seen the struggle on the Zarya comp before, and despite Leave and Jinmu being on comfort picks, the rest of the roster don't fill me with confidence. I give it to someone to sweep. Next up, we have the Shanghai Dragons taking on the Hangzhou Spark. Again, I think this meta hurt Shanghai. They didn't look super good on the Zarya comp, and Void being in is already a nerf over fate, especially in this meta where shot calling and focusing targets is so important. Lip and Who Are You is around the same as Shy Alfie. Isayaki Lee Shigong might be better than Super Rick Irony, but unless fate has a crack Junker Queen, I see Spark taking this one 3 to 1. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Valiant taking on the Philadelphia Fusion. I'm going to be honest, I've gone full doom on the Valiant after believing them twice last stage, I've given up on them. I do think they could be decent. I feel like Junker Queen operates similar to, similarly to Zarya. Aim is important, rushes forward to make space, and has an ability to engage and disengage and temporarily protect allies. I wouldn't surprise me at all if Assassin had a good Junker Queen, though we'll probably never see Marvel on it. In Philadelphia, I was never overly impressed with their rush comp, but ultimately, I think this comes down to a DPS diff. M3 and Zest are miles ahead of Vecchi and Dia, or whoever they run. I give it to Philadelphia 3-2. to two. Next up, we have the London Spitfire taking on the Houston Outlaws. Houston is still look really good despite the spaghetti droppage against New York. Now that Dante is back in his rifle position in the tank position, they seem to be a potential top three team. Uh, per- Pelican and Marin are going sicko mode. Lastro and Lop are one of the best backlines in the league right now, and Dante is solid on the Junker coin. I give it to them in a stomp. 
London looks solid, but their DPS can't stand up. And they still have a bad habit of running strange comps when struggling. Next up, we have the San Francisco Shock taking on the Los Angeles Gladiators. Gladiators have a chance of ending the 18-match win streak of the Shock up to that point. Can they do it? Well, I know better than to put against the Shock in a regular season match. Shock looks scary right now. Proper is maybe the best Genji in this meta. He's a giga carry. Kilo is looking great. Violet and Kaluz improved a lot on their heroes. Ultimately, though, I think it's a coaching diff. Gladiators look uncoordinated and have relied on Capstone and Ons to clutch up a lot of their map wins. Scoot and Funny Answer were good but are very uncoordinated, and Reiner is struggling as a result. We'll see if they improve. I think they will, but Shock just look incredible. Finn just has a grind break. I give it to Shock in a 3 2 thriller, as Glads always find a way to make it to map 5. Next up, we have the Washington Justice taking on the Florida Mayhem. Yeah, this should be a Mayhem sweep. Washington was phenomenal last week, but they are imploding, and we should see many, many members of the team leave today. Even if we assume that we don't lose any more players, they lost to Meg, one of the best Junker Queens in the game currently, and we don't know how Kaliops can play her. It's a huge change in a very small period of time. I gave it to Mayhem 3 0. Next so up, we have the Valiant taking on the charge. Alright, hot take part of the week. I'm going to give this game to the Valiant. See, Valiant are, at heart, a rush team. They look much more comfortable in that environment. They had all, all of a sudden done a solid stage while run tricking Rush. They have good Rush players. Dia getting on Ash is going to be huge for them. I think Dia on Ash is probably better than a Predator or Jimmy, even if Jimmy buzzed out the social he's been pounding on in Contenders. He also struggled a bit in Contenders, and I trust Molly on the Brig more than Farway and the Lucio. I want to give it to Valiant 3-2. to two. The only thing is that Choi could come out and just start carrying on the Genji, which it's probably going to happen, but it's more difficult for him to do it in a rush environment. Next up, Philly versus Chengdu. Yeah, I know it's a meme of Chengdu beating, beating Philly 3-1 to one every time they play, but this time it'll be different. Chengdu can't really force the dive, which they excel at. And their very, very basic coaching issues are going to bite them in big time in this meta. I wonder if they Philly flip this script and take it 3-1 to one themselves. Jin and Lee are probably going to carry, but I don't see Chengdu doing great in this meta. Next up, Dallas versus Boston. Again, Boston are on the upswing. I think or the Uprising, you could say. I think Mag is going to do great for this team. But Dallas is like amazing right now. There's no one on Boston who I think outperforms their counterpart aside, aside from maybe Victoria, if he really has a good day. I'll give it to Dallas 3-1. to one. Next up, Atlanta Rain versus Paris. Rainer is struggling really, really hard, but Paris just blew up their entire roster less than a week before this match. Rain taken in a pretty easy 3-0. I know there's an argument to be made about a lot of these players on Paris being... I mean, play this meta and contenders for longer, but it's just it's such a massive change. I cannot feel good about it. For the last match, we have the Toronto to find taking the Los Angeles Gladiators. I think this is where the Gladiators find their stride after three straight losses. To find, I do feel they're struggling to in this meta, and Glides are individually better than ever in any role. For us, I would say more coordinated too. To find, do you have some issues that need to be worked out, like focus fire and ult usage? I'll say Glides take it in a close through one. Both teams have issues, but I trust the Gladiators more to clutch it out. And that's it for this week. I can't wait to get literally every APAC Fred wrong when Valiant and Chengdu sweep everybody. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe for more. I upload nearly daily Overwatch League content, and I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs by season 5, so the, by the end of season 5, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.